What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. I've had the privilege of playing with Lima, the beta version. Lima is a Cydia alternative. It is basically a way to manage your packages, just like you would in Cydia, from a web browser. This is totally web-based, so that is really the most outstanding part about this whole thing, is that it runs completely in Safari. There's no app icons or anything that you load up there. This is strictly web-based. It is the future happening now, as they say, right there on the Lima welcome page there. You see all these various links here about Lima, my Lima, developers, report a problem, terms of service, all that. It's basically just introductory page here on the home tab, as you see there. There are various tabs across the bottom that we'll touch on later. Let's look at the uh, network status. I thought that was interesting. This kind of gives you a, a heads up as to what's going on with the servers. You see server one and two and the database server are both online, all three of them online rather. You have session logging, HTTPS, and less data refresh. That is just some uh, some good information to have, to know the status about Lima and know the status about your packages and installing packages and things of that nature. Let's talk about some of these tabs though below. These are really, this is the medium tables of this um, package manager, I guess you could call it. Um, you see here the sections, this is very, oops, like I said, it is a web browser. This is very similar to what you'll find in Cydia sections of the same, same name. Um, the only thing here though is that you can't actually disable and enable certain sections. It just It's just a display, just a way to sort the various sections so you can find what you're looking for. So that's kind of disappointing, but again, it is beta. Now, another thing that I noticed with Lima thus far with the um, beta version is that you cannot install paid packages. Normally, there's a little install button right there, but unfortunately, you can't install paid packages that I can see. Just something to note. Now, check out the more info. This is actually more familiar to Cydia users. If you open up more info, this is exactly what you normally see in Cydia. So notice the, the, oh, that's one reason I hate that, because of the advertisements. And that's really a significant part of Lima. There are no ads. Notice that, look how clean the interface looks. It's extremely clean, not as functional as Cydia just yet, but it's a lot cleaner, a lot easier on the eyes here. Now, this is not a paid tweak. You see the difference in the, um, the colors of the font there, and you should see an install button as you do right there in the upper right hand corner. So you can just install this normally like you would a Cydia package. And it generally works most of the time. Read the article on iDownload blog for a little more in-depth information about this whole thing here. So let's check out, hmm, what should we check out now? Let's search. So I'm just gonna put in a, um, a search term here. Just go ahead and type that in. Tap done. And that will search on that particular search term. You can see that right there. So there's no real like predictive or dynamic searching. It's just you search, you hit go, and then it gives you your results like that. So here is the main search window. Again, like I said, there's no predictive search. It doesn't fill in the uh, letters as to what it thinks you may be searching for. You actually have to perform a search before it will give you any feedback. Um, and that's kind of unfortunate. It doesn't work exactly like Cydia in that regard. So searching is a little more clunkier on this end. However, I found that the searches, once you actually perform them, are generally a little more reliable. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So I just searched for SBS. And you saw it brought up various things on SB settings and other little things that have SBS contained within it. So let's do a search on the full word SB settings here. Just type that fully in. There we go. Tap go and then tap done. And let's see what search re results we get here. Now, the difference here is that it will actually put SB settings as the top search result, which doesn't happen if you do a search for SB settings in Cydia. You'll probably see themes and everything else except for SB settings at the top. This actually gives you the exact thing you're searching for, which is kind of nice. I do like this a little more than I do Cydia. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, the response time, as you can see there, isn't the greatest. Uh, it is a little slow on responding, and again, like I said, this is beta, so it's not exactly as snappy as you'll find with Cydia and, you know, an actual application. This is running from the web again. Okay, so there we go with SB settings. Uh, gives you some information, has some more info, a little section there, if I tap install, It'll go through the installation and it takes a little, a little while there, but you can see starting the installation, installing package. Now, if I tap that installation log, unfortunately, it doesn't really give me any information at all. 
Um, so that's kind of disappointing because you, you really kind of going into this blindly as it stands. There's no information there whatsoever. So just keep that in mind. Now we can just respring, we'll respring, we'll come back up. And SB settings will be indeed installed once we come back up. I'll test it out. Just do a little swipe. And there we go, folks. There's SB settings. So the installation works pretty much exactly like Cydia, but it's just not as polished. There's still some problems with install installing packages. There's just some problems with the navigation. It's choppy. Um, read the article on iDownload blog for a lot more information, a lot more detail. You'll learn what works well, what works not so well, and it's just a, a good overall synopsis of what you can expect. And we're also going to be giving it away a couple of beta invites, so stay tuned for that as well. Uh, it is Lima. It's very exciting to be able to try this out. I know it's been in the works for a long time, and really, this is this is awesome. To be able to do this from a browser is just amazing. You can tell the developers put in some serious work work with Lima and I really think this is going to be something special when it's all said and done. Let me know what you think in the comment section folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.